Hey coaches, we're here to talk about the power concept out of the shotgun. Now um, we'll call it 23 power, two back to the three hole. I mean you, you could call it any play you want, it depends on your, your team's numbering system. But let's start with the uh, play side blocking. This play side guard is going to block down on this tackle. The center is going to block the back side A gap defender. Anytime the center has double A gap, she's always blocking the back side A gap defender. Now this tackle is going to go right for this linebacker. Now if this tackle is a little wider, you could have the left tackle double team the defensive tackle with the, with the left guard. But in this case, that's an easy down block. And the left tackle get right onto that the inside linebacker. Now the H is going to take an inside leverage step and gut this kid out, okay? Tell your H, you know, don't be afraid to cheat. You're splitting, you know, even more. Whatever, whatever creates the easiest path for him, that, that's what we want, okay? So cheat him in, that'll create a little bit better angle to gut this defensive end out. Now, the right guard is going to pull. He's going to lead through the hole. He's going to look to block this outside linebacker, okay? Our first linebacker that shows through the hole. So he's going to pull and get upfield. And, and make sure he doesn't pull with too much depth, okay? I drew it up with a little too much depth here. Have him pull a little tighter to the line, and then climb up, lead through the hole. Now the right tackle is going to step down, pretty much replace the guard in case his linebacker blitzes or, or there's some kind of slant or stunt. He's replacing the guard, and there's no one inside over free on him, so he's going to get um, get onto the linebacker. Okay, we're going to leave this kid unblocked. Now the two, as soon as the quarterback catches the snap, the two is going to open up. He's going to take the handoff. He's going to co. His aiming point is the inside foot of the tackle, okay? We want to go right inside this kick out, okay? Right inside the kick out of this defensive end, and we want him to get right behind that guard, okay? So as soon as that ball is snapped, he needs to get downhill, take the handoff, and hit the hole. Quarterback's going to catch the snap, hand to the two back, and then after he hands to the two back, he's going to fake like he's keeping it to the right, okay? Now over to the twin side, the Z is going to run a bubble, and the X is going to run a quick slant. Okay, and then the single receiver, the Y here, is going to fake a quick screen or now screen, whatever you want to call it. Now, you can see there's several RPO options out of this play as well. And you could even implement um, a zone read where you have the quarterback read this kid. So if this DN slants down, quarterback pulls it keeps it upfield, the bubble should keep influence him to widen so you hit that seam. If the D end, you know, boxes or contains upfield, he could just give him the ball. But it's very important that your quarterback, when he gives the ball on the power, okay, that he carries out his fate. That'll hold some of these defenders, okay? It'll hold these kids. So they won't, you know, they really won't pursue to the ball. But um again you can implement the zone read, you can read this M man on the line. You could, you could implement the quick bubble. If this kid's playing off coverage, you could just have him throw the quick bubble, get your athlete the ball out in space. You know, if, if you see the corners playing off and they're really creeping this linebacker in, you, you could just have the quarterback catch the ball, throw a quick screen to the Y, and they'll still execute like it's power. So, you know, there's a lot of different tags and, and RPOs that you could actually install into this play. But, um... You know, I'd recommend just running in straight up power. And then if you know the defense isn't, or you see the defense isn't respecting the quarterback's fake, you could come up with a play where the quarterback pulls the ball and keeps it. Or fakes it and throws the bubble. But again, ton of options here.